Are you serious? The little microchip has already going into production? I'm talking about the little microchip that I talked to you about that can be used to hold all your banking information, all your medical health information, your place of residence, your social security number, your driver's license, your, your work ID number, everything about you. You don't have to pull out a debit card no more. You'll be able to just wave your hand or stick your head up by the thing and it will be able to read all the information there is about you. It also has a GPS just so the government will know exactly where you're at at all times in case they need to go find you because of an emergency. It's a FEMA thing. It's a FEMA thing. I'm a FEMA, FEMA, FEMA. Do you believe this? Are you serious? Are you buying it? Do you want it? Let me tell you what's going on. Karen of Maryland has sent me secret documentation from manufacturers who are already working with the government. But first, the Bible says in Revelation 13, 13, and he doth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. Because they're not real. Those are going to be done by Project Blue Beam or Harp or something. They're not. He don't have the power to bring down fire. You go ask the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel when they had the contest. Elijah says, "Whoever can answer by fire, let that be the true and living God." And the four hundred and fifty prophets of the Baal prayed to their golden calf and they could to their golden image of Baal, and they could not get a spark. But when the prophet Elijah called upon the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, there come a consuming fire out of heaven that absolutely consumed the sacrifice the wood, the stones of the altar, and even licked up the water that was in the trough. I'm talking about a God that is so powerful. But listen, this Antichrist, this beast, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast or the system that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hands and in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell that unless save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name and here is wisdom let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred three score and six now let me read to you an article that came to Karen she dug this up contacts everywhere across the globe the original Matt chip the original chip manufacturer has marked 100% of its production for a period of two months. The microchips themselves were scanned at an original chip manufacturing facility. The DNA marked outer packaging was scanned at a distributor. In a blind sampling where both the marked and the unmarked chips were sampled, the forensic analysis confirmed the authenticity of the products that were DNA marked as genuine. In other words, the DNA information that they could put inside the microchip that would match those that you put it in their body works. If you put this microchip in somebody, you can't steal someone else's microchip and stick it in your hand and think you can use it. It won't work because the DNA analysis of your body won't match the DNA that was programmed into the microchip. This is a foolproof system. It's already in play and it was passed in the Obamacare bill. And I've already read that to you. Go back and look at my video, The Mark of the Beast, The Microchip. I told you this thing's coming. The technology is there. And now the government has, has awarded a $1 million uh, testing contract to the manufacturers, the distributors, the end users, and all, so to and the armed forces who are actually going to implement this thing, so that there is a secure supply chain arranged. This thing is going to come to pass. Meanwhile, seventy-one of these. 
pastors behind me. You see the black dots behind me? Those represent the 71 locations where pastors Sunday, June 26, 2011 are going to stand behind the sacred desk of and the, and the pulpit of their collective congregations and they are going to take this holy word of God and they're going to shove it aside and they're going to pick up the Koran and they're going to read from the scriptures in the Koran. I wonder if they're going to read the Surah chapter 4 verses 157, 158 that says Jesus did not die on the cross for he is not the son of God for a disciple took his place. Thus since Christ did not die he could not have rose again. I wonder if they're going to read that scripture. Are they going to tell you that the Quran says that Jesus was not born of a Virgin Mary? Are they going to explain to you? Are you saved? See, this is going to be a powerful day today. It's going to be a powerful, powerful day today. Bible prophecy is happening. You guys know it. I'm going to be right back. You know, watch today's videos. I mean, we're going to talk about these 11 warships off the coast of Japan. They're Chinese warships off the coast of Japan. And also, we got to talk about Syria's moving troops along the, the border with Turkey and the United States Secretary of State Hillary Rodham Clinton is not happy. There's a bunch of other stuff. Was it three Russian science, nuclear scientists that died or was it five? We've got to talk about this. Why were they all on one plane? They're the same guys that designed the nuclear power plant in Iran. Who did it? Who did it? It was a Russian plane. It was in Russia. But who really did it? Are you serious? I'll be right back. And somebody's got to end the the strike in Canada. I can't ship people their packages. They can't get their Are You Serious coffee cups. Jesus saves. They can't get this stuff. How are they going to get it? you got to go to my website at www.paulbeckleyprophecy.com It's going to be a powerful day. Powerful